So we just determined that E is going to match our scenario if Grace completes a dive from a cliff 100 feet above the river. It takes him only 1.7 seconds to hit the water. Now, if we're thinking about independent quantity here, right? Grayson's going up this mountain. He's standing on a cliff that's 100 feet above the river, okay? Now, time is something I really want you to be, be kind of specific about. Time is majority of the time going to be our independent quantity. We can't depend on, time can't depend on stuff. Time is time. It, it's always in, going to be independent majority of the time, okay? Except for special cases. But this one, for instance, right? Time is going to take Grayson 1.7 seconds to hit the water at 100 feet every single time, okay? So our, our independent quantity here is going to be 1.7 seconds to hit the water. And if you're looking at a graph, right, we would represent this here. Ah, sorry. This x-axis would represent time, right? Time, 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 okay? Of him getting out there to that distance there. This y-axis is also your dependent, okay? So your x-axis is your independent, your y-axis is your dependent. Always, okay? So whatever your independent axis is, it's going to be labeled as your x-axis. Whatever your y is, it's going to be labeled as your dependent. So y is dependent, x is independent. You can always write that in your notes. x is independent, y is dependent, okay? That's what you're going to be labeling your, your axes as, okay? So in this scenario, the feet above the river is Grayson's dependent variable. 1.7 seconds is to hit the water is his independent variable. Okay, so now if we're going down to the second scenario here, Candace is cleaning the office building's 200 gallon aquarium for cleaning. Uh, for cleaning, she must remove the fish from the aquarium and drain the water. The water drains at a constant rate of 10 gallons per minute. Okay, so again, we are looking at time here. So I'm hoping that automatically you're realizing, okay, because we're looking at time, our minutes are going to be our independent variable. Okay, the water in gallons is going to be our dependent. So now if we're looking at a graph here, we are like decreasing in amount of time, right? The only one, okay, we, we have this aquarium filled with water already. So we should be up, okay? A, B is not going to be realistic. Our scenario never talks about refilling the aquarium in our scenario. I assume she does, but it doesn't talk about it. So C is out. I don't see how we could increase the amount of water we're, we're taking out. Right, I don't know how that time's going to change drastically, especially when it's saying that it's consistently decreasing at 10 gallons per minute. E, we already took care of. We already took care of, sorry. F is good. G, nope, right? That's saying if we're filling up the aquarium, we're not, we're decreasing. So H would be our representation in this, okay? Now, if we're looking at this here, Okay, we already discussed this. We would label our x-axis here as our time in minutes. Our y-axis is our dependence, so we're going to label that as um, water in gallons, decreasing out of that aquarium. All right, let's do one more here. You have your eye on an upgrade smartphone. Um, however, you... Um, currently do not have the money to purchase it. Your cousin will provide a funding as long as you pay him back with interest, okay? Um, he tells you that you only need to pay $1 in interest initially, and then the interest will double each week after that. You consider his offer and wonder if this really is a good deal. So we're starting at zero, and our interest, this is looking at a graph that represents our interest here. So if we're starting at zero. A, B is a possibility, not C, not D, not E, not F. G is a possibility in H. So if we're, we're starting at zero and it increases slowly, right? We're going to see a little, we're going to see a graph that's kind of increasing like B, right? So B would have answer because if we're initially starting at one, but it's increasing with an initial fee, it's going to give us this curve going upwards. So B would be our scenario, okay? Um, X would be our time in weeks, okay? So how much time is going to be passing? Y would be our dependent variable, the interest rate, okay, in dollars. Y'all, that's what independent and dependent variables are. See if you can match up the corresponding scenarios with the graph and your activity that I attached. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, y'all. This activity is due at the end of the week.